Tonight with an eyewitness news alert, the government is recalling thousands of simplicity baby cribs following the death of a North Attleboro baby. And tonight, the baby's mother is speaking publicly for the first time since her son died in his crib. Eyewitness news reporter Susan Hogan has the heartbreaking story, which will hopefully save other children from danger. It took so much for this young mother to speak to us tonight. Although it has been two years since her one-year-old son died in his crib, the pain will always be there fresh in her mind. Little Landon had just celebrated his one-year birthday. Six days later, he died in his crib. He was the best little boy ever. He was loved by so many people. His mother, Lauren Zimmerman, remembers the day she bought Landon's Simplicity Crib. It was a special gift to her baby boy. I bought it brand new. I bought it myself. It was like the first gift I bought for him and never expected anything to happen with it. But on January 30th, 2008, her precious son was found trapped between the crib's mattress and frame. Rescue crews tried to revive him, but Landon had suffocated. What made you suspect that the crib may have caused his death? Well, after he'd passed away, we had looked underneath the crib and saw that one of the metal supports had dropped and had, be had fallen loose. In fact, this is a picture of Landon's broken frame that was taken by investigators with the Consumer Product Safety Commission, evidence that led to the Simplicity Crib Recall. The recall includes all Simplicity full-size cribs with tubular metal mattress support frames. The recall involves fixed side and drop side cribs. According to the CPSC, the support frame can bend or detach and cause part of the mattress to detach, creating a space where a baby can become entrapped. It happened to her little boy, and she wants to make sure it doesn't happen to any other baby at all. I was absolutely devastated. You don't expect to put your child to sleep at night and something happened to them. You expect them to be safe in their cribs. Now, the CPSC is aware of 13 additional incidents involving these Simplicity Cribs, and there was also another huge crib recall announced today by Graco. That recall prompted by 99 reports of problems with one of their models. Check them out on WPRI.com. You, of course, have more on this story and hear more from Lauren on Eyewitness News at 6. I'm Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.